hello guys welcome to my channel i'm jitendra from the coffee's guide tutorials today we'll be looking at this cool looking infographics animation in powerpoint before we start if you're new to my channel you can go and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon i post every sunday and wednesday a new video on powerpoint word and excel so that you can work better in office so let's start So I have a blank presentation here. So very first thing I'll do, I'll right click here. I'll go to the layout or I'll make it blank. So first we'll take a rectangle and from we'll go to the rectangle options and we'll find the second rectangle which says it has a round corners. So I'll take a rectangle corner. I'll make it decent big. I'll just put it aside. I'll take a triangle. I'll draw a decent big triangle. I'll rotate it almost like 180 degree. I'll bring it here. And I'll since it's placed exactly in the center of this, you can see the guidelines. So what I'll do, I'll just quickly by pressing control, I will stretch it inside. And I'll just keep it a little outside so that it should not so that it should be a little big than the rectangle. So next option we have to reduce this length and I will place it somewhere here. We will select these two. The very first thing I will do I will make shape outline as no outline. Since both are of same color we can't see them but just by approximation we will select these two. Go to shape format and we will make it fragment. So after what fragment does actually it divides all the parts with intersect each other into separate geometries so you can see these two small triangles I will delete these two small triangles here and you can see we have two parts here I will quickly do and control Z means undo and I will select these two and I'll go to shape format and merge shape and make it union since you can see a white space that doesn't uh, it actually not exist but just just shows maybe some graphical error here so we'll select this and we'll give it a color shape fill. I'll go to eyedropper and I'll choose the first color, say blue. Okay, so blue is done. I'll click this box, the lower one, and I'll give it a shape fill as white. Since we cannot see the white on white, what I'll do, I'll right click on an empty space and I'll go to format background. I'll go to gradient fill and I will remove the two extra points in the gradient stops. So in the first color, I will give a 5% darker and the another one I will give a second 15% darker and angle I will give 45 degree. So now you can see the white color is visible. So what I will do now, just to give it as a paper cut effect, I will select the white color, I will go to shape effects, shadows and I will give offset to top. So now it looks like it is coming out from this. So now. For now, I will select these two, I will group them and I will give another shade to the entire boxes, or to the entire group, a middle one. So now you can see it emphasizes from the background. It comes up from the background. So one part is done. I will quickly make two to three copies of this. You can make as much as you want and I will give different color. So I will go to shape fill, I will go to eyedropper. I'll take a green one. Again, I'll double click to select the box. I'll go to shape fill. I'll go to eyedropper and I'll take a pink one. So we have, we got three boxes here. Let us quickly write some text here. So, word. So I'm double clicking there, Excel. And PowerPoint. So similar way you can write any text here also. So I'll write documents, I'll change the color to black. Sorry, spellings are wrong. Documents. I'll write here. First I will take change the font color to black. Then I will write spreadsheet. Again I will change the color to black and I will write presentation. 
now we'll go to the animation part and we'll quickly add animations to this so we'll I'll select the group first I'll come to the animation tab in the more options I will find an emphasis under the category emphasis we'll choose grow and shrink so I'll take the option grow and shrink so we can say it's shrinking but it's shrinking too much so let me close this form map background I'll come to the animation pane so this is it's group 21 the animation is already applied I'll double click here the very first thing I'll make it to 120 percent but I'll make it 120 percent press enter okay so it, it is very slow now so what I'll do I'll reduce the time to say one second I'll double click again I'll go to effect and I'll go smooth end I want it to end very very smoothly so now we can see yes again I will select the box I'll go to add animation I'll go to grow and shrink now again we can see it's growing so I will double click so before I move ahead I will reduce the time here to one second I'll double click here go to effect options I will reduce it to 80 four percent and I'll again smooth it so now don't worry it's going down now if I do play all it comes up goes down so we have a tool here called animate animation painter so what it does actually it takes animation belongs to group it applies to another group so what I'll do I'll click this group first I'll go to animation painter now you can see the cursor is changed I will apply that animation to the second group the same way keep it selected go to again animation painter and apply to third one so wait, what next I want is so what I'll do when the group 21 start to shrink I want the group 22 to start coming up so what you need to do just group 22 you click and change this order to with previous and the same way group 25 also will change it to group with group 25 to start with previous so now we'll see the animation preview so we have the first here when it starts going back the second comes and the third comes so you can see how easy it is to make animation in powerpoint if you really like this video please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share with your friends thank you